What is up my coconut bras and welcome back and in this video we are going to be doing some yolo lesion tricks. And so what this is basically going to be is sneaky ways on how you can place lesion traps and then all at the same time when you get a notification when one goes off we're going to be doing runouts onto them and we're going to kind of evolve this tactic as we move forward with the video. So we're going to start out really basic by just throwing some on very common entry points of the map chalet. And when I get the notification that one goes off, then there you go, we're gonna jump out, give them a big ass surprise, slap them in the back of the head with your gun, and then you're gonna get a very easy kill. Now, the reason this is working so well right now is because one, a lot of people are not expecting stuff like this to be happening and two people are going to be outside they're going to want to pull the pin from them because if you guys know how lesion works you either are going to take eight damage per tick or you have to stop and take the tick out or the the injection out of your foot or whatever you stepped on it with maybe your face if you tripped and fell i don't know but yeah, so you're gonna either have to take it out or take eight damage. All right, now this next clip is in a live game and yes, it was casual, but I thought it was pretty funny because it literally went exactly like how my tutorial went. And so I did the trick, I jumped over once I got the notification and you guys probably know by now, if you didn't have the season pass, it's been about 24 hours since the operators were available for you to purchase. And if you've practiced with Legion at all, then you will know that his goo mines will regenerate over time. So that also kind of gave me the perfect opportunity to reset up. Now you don't have to make this your main focus of the objective when you're playing, but I just kind of added it into my roundabouts that I'm doing. And what's really cool about this is that you get notifications once the goo mine has tripped and somebody has triggered it. So you'll see right here how there's a little kind of like a white spiky emblem over each of your goo mines and every single one that you place will have those little emblems. Now once somebody triggers those, I'm sure you guys know this, but I'm just covering this um, for anybody that may be new to it. So I apologize if you know this already, but I just wanna make sure everybody has a really good understanding of how it works. Once it's triggered, that emblem actually disappears. So by doing that, you can actually take notice of which ones have been triggered, and then you can go and hunt down your enemy. So Legion is a very, very good operator in my opinion. If you guys played with him at all, let me know what you guys think of him. I've heard a lot of mixed reactions. I've heard a lot of people that think he's really overpowered, and I've also heard the opinion that he needs a buff maybe even. But I think that his gadget is very, very useful. He's kind of like smoke where the longer you're able to stay alive with Legion, then the more powerful he becomes. And the deeper inside of the round it gets, the more Legion traps there are, it's gonna slow down attackers so much. It basically makes it very difficult for rushers and it's almost like an indirect nerf to Ash, I feel like, or any operator that he may be rushing with, recruit rushes regardless. But anyways, we're gonna take another look and this next one's gonna be coming on border and this one is like the perfect fuse counter. So you can kind of see how we're evolving it now. We started underneath of the door and then the next one on Oregon was on the windowsill. And so we're taking that windowsill tactic to a whole nother level and we're gonna place them on some very popular fuse windows. And another really, really cool thing about this is that if you're rappelling up and you trigger the goo mine, you're actually not gonna have the option to take the goo mine off until you either touch ground and rappel all the way down or you're gonna have to repel all the way up to the roof. And a lot of people say I say roof weird. So okay, so the R-O-O-F, there you go. So you're either gonna have to go up or go down. You're not gonna be able to place it. So as you see right here, I triggered the goo mine. It went off, I started taking damage. I was already pretty much in the process of placing the fuse trap. So I finished placing the fuse trap. And then after that, I'm gonna either have to repel up or repel down. And then I just got smacked. It was pretty much instant. As soon as they get the notification that the goo mine was triggered, I just instantly got taken out. Now this next one, we're gonna be using this same tactic. And if you guys play a ton of bomb in a high level, you guys know that upstairs is very, very common. And a lot of people will even like to place mirrors in the break room overlooking admin office. 
and so that when attackers go to attack these two windows it's one of the first rooms that you're going to clear when you're attacking upstairs for the bomb site now you just have to be a little bit careful not to throw the goo mine over the edge if you do it's really not the end of the world though a lot of people will run over it in the beginning to get the repel up but this one's really sick and as you guys can see, I have the both notifications on the windows and a really common run out for this one that you're gonna need to be able to be careful using, but at the same time, it is very effective if you're able to pull it off. So I'm basically just watching the main entrance and keeping notice of which goo mine is gonna get released. And so right here, I'm just watching for rushers and there you go, it was triggered. He's kind of stuck right there because he's not able to pull the goo mine off. So they kind of, are figuring out, okay, do I need to repel down? How do I get this off of me? And it's still pretty new to people, so a lot of people don't realize that you're actually not able to take the goo mine off while you're still in repel. And I'm gonna show you exactly what this looks like. I'm coming up here with Ash, so I set the goo mine off, and look at this, I do not have an option to take the pin out of me. So I'm repelling all the way down. It takes a ton of time. He has a ton of time to do a run out on me, but there you go, I was able to get it off. And then look at that, this thing hits surprisingly hard. It's eight DPS per tick. And so it's like, I don't know, maybe that's like about a second and a half, two seconds. So here we go, I'm setting it off right here. I do not have an option, so I'm going back down. And maybe some of the time they will repel up to the ceiling and take it off. And in that case, that would be the safer method. But a lot of people just make the wrong assumption of thinking that they are safe on the outside. So you need to be wary of either teammates watching and protecting their backs or you need to be wary and careful of people going up to the top. Then it would be kind of a pointless tactic. And so basically, then if you're able to combine this with either, either Valkyrie or if you have an outside camera still, this is so effective, really badass. All right, so this next one, we're gonna be on Hereford base and we are throwing a goo mine right outside of the briefing room door, kind of tucked into the little corner, very difficult to see. And so we're gonna be coming up into the master bedroom and we're gonna be using this sneaky little line of sight that a lot of people know about at high levels, but if you're new playing, I know there's a ton of new people joining the community. So if you're new to the community, welcome. It's really awesome. And join the Coconut Bra family and subscribe down below if you wanna see more tips and tricks videos like this. But this is a really sick line of sight. It's gonna be in between the side room on the bedroom and looking in the staircase, looking all the way down to the entrance of briefing room, really nice spot. Now the other way we're gonna do it is just be tossing it right onto the door. You could even toss two of them right here if you want to. As soon as you get a notification that it is taken out, you can either break down the door or if you know it's clear, like how I did right here, then you can just wait right there for it to go off, especially if it's like a 3v1 or something. This is an absolute death trap. No way that the attacker should be able to get past this point. Now I'm gonna show you what this looks like from the attacker's point of view and doing a run out on a different spot. Huge shout out to Dansom Woja YouTube for helping me out. It's gonna have a link to his channel down below in the description, really badass player. As you see, I run up, I'm going for a rush, melee the door, set off the goo trap, and he's actually gonna be doing a jump out from the first floor window that's overlooking the other reinforced wall. Now this one's really fast. If you know that there's only one or two enemies left, then that's gonna be a great tactic. All right, and last but not least, the moment we've all been waiting for, the new one from the thumbnail. We're gonna be throwing a goo mine inside of the drone hole from Geisha Room, right by the vase, and this one's really great. This is such a common area. If you guys don't know, the helipad spawn is one of the most common when people are attacking. And so, in that case, this walkway balcony outside here is very common and if somebody gets a little bit too close to the wall you're not going to be setting it off if you're walking all the way on the other side or even like most away onto the side by the edge but if they step within about a foot of the wall you're going to actually set this goo mine off from the drone hole it's so sneaky now i absolutely love this one i just get completely set off the goo mine. I'm like, wait, what the heck? That's gonna totally throw people off. So excited. And of course, there's so many other spots. If you guys wanna see a part two to this, please let me know. If you like this video and you wanna see more, be sure to subscribe down below. I love you guys. I'll see you guys all very soon in the next video. Peace.